So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, oops, dropped the box. <laughs> this is actually empty right now. This is the GameStop TV docking and charging station. Now, for you guys that are curious about this, I want to get this right off the bat. It does work for Nintendo Switch, the regular model, and it does work for the Switch OLED. Now, for you guys out there that have the handheld one, the Switch Lite, unfortunately, this is not going to work for the Switch Lite. Yes, I have tried it, and it does not work. So, you know, there you go. Now, this is a little expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's about $47.99 or so. I think it's normally $49.99, but it was on sale for $47, which isn't much of a discount. But I happen to have a certain amount of credit after trading in Mario Wonder. And I figured, you know what? Why not get another dock for the second bedroom or the, or the primary bedroom? Because we have one already in the living room. So if you see right here, it does have touch controls. It is small and very portable, which I'm going to show you that in a moment. And it does have HDMI display outlet. It doesn't come with anything. It doesn't have any of the cords inside the box, so that might be a bummer for some people. But personally, it's not really a big deal, especially if you have a lot of chargers and HDMI's in general inside your house. So with that being said, let's talk about this. And um, oh, forgot. It also has GameCube inputs that allow you to actually use your GameCube controllers, especially for you Smash Bros players out there. And it works very well from what I was told. I personally haven't tried it because I don't have those particular controllers but we will try just some gameplay in general now let's get right into the review and not waste any more time so guys there's no need for me to even show any instructions or anything because i'm going to explain this in detail for anyone watching now if you look at this this bar right here in the front is a led bar this will actually glow when your Nintendo Switch is docked, which I will show you guys in the next section, so keep that in mind. Right here, you have the GameCube inputs. When I first saw this, I was like, what are these inputs? And I thought about it, like, these are round. It looked like GameCube. I haven't seen GameCube in a bazillion years, right? I was probably a teenager or something when GameCube was out. But you do have the option for those controllers, so, you know, good looking for the people that actually like to play Smash Bros and competitive gaming and still like their GameCube controllers. Right here... This is where you're going to dock the system. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have docked this, and I do not believe that you could put any type of case on it because of that groove the switch fits directly into it, which I'll show you guys in a moment in the next section. Now, if we flip it over, uh, this button right here doubles down for two things. One, when you put the dock, when the switch is on and you place it on the dock, it'll automatically put it in TV mode. But if you tap this button, it'll switch it immediately over to handheld mode and if you tap it again it will put it over to tv mode though i will say the transition between switching from dock to tv does take a couple seconds so don't think that your product is damaged it just takes a little bit of time to do so but if you tap this almost immediately it'll switch over to dock mode in addition to that you have your hdmi in the back you do have your h uh i call it hdmi your usb a that's what these things are called the typical basic usbs you always get and then you have USB-C. Now, let's differentiate the two right now. I've already tried this, so you don't have to try it. If you plug in the USB-A to this, and then plug this like through USB-C, like a reverse way, and try to plug it into an outlet, it will not work. This USB-A outlet is strictly to use only for like accessories, corded controllers. If you want to charge something to the dock, you can do that with no problem. The middle one, the USB-C, is the power connector, just so you know. Again, I've tried it. I know some of you guys are probably going to try it too. And I have tried multiple cords, meaning I've tried a 15 watt, one, not one plus, but 15 watt, uh, what's it called? Turbo charger or, you know, the generic chargers that come inside the box for Motorola devices. It worked perfectly fine. I had no issues whatsoever. I do believe this requires a minimum of 15 watts in order for it to work properly. So keep that in mind. But um, outside of that, I did also use the authentic Nintendo cord that worked perfectly fine too. Now, let me be perfectly clear here. If you're going to use this for a different room, just use a different charger. The reason I say that is because the official Nintendo Switch dock more so needs the one that it comes with. So you don't want to take that away from it. Instead, just use a regular USB, some cell phone cord. Don't use a five watt cable. I'm telling you now, do not use a five watt power brick. I meant um, it's I'm not going to say that it's not going to work. It just doesn't work very well, in my opinion. I've tried like off-brand ones. Some worked, some different didn't. But if you have like a Samsung cable, the Apple cable, or even if you use a USB-C to USB-C cable and plug it up, it'll still work. Just make sure that you just use this middle one for the power. This is the power source. 
This is for controllers and accessories. This is for the HDMI. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. There's not much more to say about this dock. Oh, also it's very, very portable as you can see. If you compare this and that's just put into my hand, this is very, very small and portable. So for the people wondering why it's so portable, you can plug this up as is, put your switch on top of it and use it as a charging station. It doesn't have to have an HDMI and you can just charge your, uh, your Nintendo Switch up with no problem, play at an angle, especially if you're at a desk or, or, or something where it's like a flat surface, you're not, a TV's not available, you'll be able to use your controller, whether it's wireless or not, and just have it docked while charging. And I think that's a pretty cool feature. Anyway, I wasted enough time. You're here to see how the dock actually works. So let's go on to the next section. So this is the dock right here, just so you guys know. Uh, a couple things to note, the USB in the back, which is the USB-A right here, this guy actually doubles down as like a charger or some type of, uh, you could plug like a controller to it, a wireless controller in order to charge it, or some type of accessory for a Nintendo Switch. As you can see, I have it plugged into my headset right here. This is what I'm testing. The middle cord only works as the power outlet. And you may be wondering what it is that I'm talking about. Um, this right here, as long as you plug up the USB-C into the back, whether you use USB-C to USB-C or just I use the Nintendo Switch uh, power adapter, it worked perfectly fine. But the one plugged up is the USB-C to USB-A. And this guy right here is um, 15 watts, the actual outlet in the back. And it worked perfectly fine. And of course, you have the HDMI over here. So I have Dark Souls, as you can see. What I want to do is plug it up to this and show you what happens. So just make sure you don't damage it. Now, as soon as you plug it up, the blue light will come on. This is the indicator, and it will let you know that your game is, in fact, on. Let me just show you that real fast so you guys have an idea of what it is I'm talking about. Okay, so the controller is currently connected, right? Right now, just flip this up. It is hooked up to the TV. But for right now, we're going to go back to the dock for one reason. Now, remember that button I told you guys about in the uh, initial video? If you press the button, see if I hold it, it goes back to handheld mode automatically. And if I press it again, which I do a long press, it's supposed to go back to, there we go, just took a couple seconds, but it'll go right back to dock mode. I'm sorry, not dock mode, yeah, dock mode, which is right here. So far, it's been working very well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any GameCube controllers to plug in right here, but these are the two slots for the GameCube controllers and the LED light that's in the front it's really meant strictly for to let you know that it is in fact docked and charging so you can charge a nintendo switch with no problem whatsoever with that being said the most important part is gameplay and let's take a look at that right now so this is the gameplay section right here i'm just going to go ahead and grab the wireless controller and uh, we're gonna play a little dark souls yeah i am doing the tutorial boss for you guys that are wondering what this game is and the reason I'm playing this is for a very simple reason. Um, all docks are not created equally. This is probably my third or fourth dock that I've actually used for um, the Nintendo Switch. Some of them had issues where when it connected, it kind of would act up from time to time and disconnect. This one, I have no issues with whatsoever. Like the one that does disconnect, I actually didn't do a review for that one. So I probably have to go back in the archives and show you guys. But again, this is the one from GameStop, just so you know. So I'm going to do it, go ahead and do its fight the tutorial boss real fast, just to show you that it does actually work. And um, I did notice that the dock occasionally skipped, but I'm not sure if that's the dock itself or that's just the Nintendo Switch. I'm more so of a PC player at this point. Oh, look, people actually doubt on this part. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not one of them. Let's see, where is he? All right. Just got to beat this big guy up. Kind of forgot the buttons for a moment because uh, I'm used to playing Elden Ring. All right, one more should do it. There we go. All right, so with that being said, that's a tutorial boss. Everything was working fine. The sound sounds pretty good in this. I didn't, obviously I haven't had this for a very long time. I want to say under a week. And I played, uh, I want to say about me personally, 15 to 20 hours of gameplay with this dock. It works perfectly fine. And my wife, on the other hand, actually played um 
what is it called? She, Puyo Puyo Tetris. She plays Sonic, Superstars, uh, the Mario Wonder, and a few other games in Monopoly. And it worked perfectly fine, too. So, I, again, I don't have any issues with the dock. But what I will say is, occasionally, I do see a little, a, a little lag, like kind of like a stutter, where when you move the screen up and down, it's a little iffy. But again, that could also have something to do with the actual type of games that I played. Because when I played like the last, uh, actually, let me see what the games are called. Uh, what I played was Fortnite. Well, my niece played Fortnite on this dock. She had no idea it was that type of dock. Uh, I did Skyrim. There is here we go. The Lost, the Last Face. That's the game. I played that right, and it seemed to work perfectly fine. I, I, you know, most of the games I touched, I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any like you know the the, the connector disconnecting or anything like that. It seems fine to me. Now again, uh, in terms of longevity, I can't sit here and tell you how long a dock will last. Every dock that I've purchased never broke for the Nintendo Switch, and I still have them to this day. But I just happened to buy this one because you know I had Nintendo credit. I mean, not Nintendo credit. I had GameStop credit, and to be honest, there was nothing in the store that I wanted since I have a Steam Deck and a Nintendo Switch. The Steam Deck gets more play, and the the uh, what is it called? The computer uses Xbox controller, so I just used the credit for this dock. But it was great. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. Uh, the colors don't really seem off to me. Uh, granted, it does. I don't want to say that it's a little bit darker. Maybe it's the settings of my game that affects the actual dock itself. I'm not too sure, but it, uh, I don't have any problems. And like I said before, for the GameCube users out there that play Smash Bros and things like that, you have your GameCube uh, little settings in the front where you can still use your specialized controllers and you can play competitively if you choose. And this dock is small and, and really portable. So even if you don't dock your system to a TV, this will still double down as a kickstand and you're able to play the game while it's charging comfortably without you know your cord bending or anything like that so again i don't have anything bad to say about this whatsoever it works very very well and again last part if i tap the button in the back and tap it once yep goes directly back to handheld mode and it will ask you to actually use uh you know connect your controller again because you know reasons obviously you have to connect your controller like i just did and the game is currently working on the bottom left hand corner as you can see everything is good to go and that's me using this controller uh moving the game around so you know it's real footage anyway let's go on to the next section simply put the limited time that i spent with this dock um it worked perfectly fine for me the only negative I, I can say is that because this dock, I would have preferred if this part was sitting straight up along with this part so you could just fit the switch in similar to the original dock. But this particular one is on an angle. So when you paste your switch inside of it, just make sure that you're not damaging your charger port because it's on an angle and you don't want to break anything inside. And then you'll be screwed and you'll blame GameStop, but it's really your fault. So just make sure that you angle it properly, like you align the charger port with the switch itself and place it inside. Outside of that, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any really, you know, connectivity issues whatsoever. It never just randomly disconnected. What I will say is my cats do walk on the TV, so they have knocked this out of place. It is easier to knock this out of place with sudden movement. But outside of that, it actually works pretty good. It's pretty portable. I like it. I think it's worth the asking price, even though this is 40 something dollars. Um, unfortunately, most of the docks I've gotten are at Best Buy or certain places. So I never really bought a 20, 30 dollar dock. I don't know how well they work compared to this price tag, because I think the original Nintendo Switch dock is like 70 something dollars or depending on if you find it brand new from Nintendo. But teach the room. I like alternative docks. It works well for me. And this is one that I'm definitely keeping. It's not going anywhere. Um, worst case scenario, I'll even take it outside the house. But seeing how I have my trusty friend, the Steam Deck, I don't really play that Switch as much anymore. But teach the room. Anyway, like and subscribe. Decent product, especially for the price tag. If you can find it for a little bit cheaper or in sale, I definitely say go for it. It worked for me. It'll definitely work for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.